that reveals more about what happened before the shots were fired. NBC 10's Aaron Baskerville continues our team coverage live from South Street. Aaron. Jackie, once again, we are by 3rd and South Street, right by the scene of the shooting. It seems like everyone right now is trying to figure out the best way to move forward when it comes to safety on South Street. Ideas are being floated around. Meanwhile, police are looking for a man considered armed and dangerous. Let's bring life to the street. Let's not let these people die in vain and everybody walk around in fear forever. Chris Stoney says he's hired four armed security guards for the grand opening of his store wardrobe this weekend after chaos broke out less than a block away a few days ago. Investigators are now looking for this man considered armed and dangerous in connection to the deadly mass shooting on South Street. Store owners are now focused on safety. A curfew could be a way to help a little bit, but I think the problem is a little deeper. It's how people feel about themselves, how they view life, getting guns so easily. New video obtained by NBC 10 shows what started the shooting. Investigators say a fight broke out between Gregory Jackson in the white shirt and Micah Towns in the black shirt. They say Jackson's friend, Rashawn Vereen, who was arrested last night by U.S. Marshals, jumped in. You see Jackson shoot Towns. Seconds later, while on the ground, Towns fires at Jackson, killing him. Detectives say another man not in the video would fire his ghost gun in their direction. We have to make sure that we're not only focusing on the guns themselves, but we're being very careful about who's getting these permits, who's getting these guns, how they're being used. At least one city councilman believes there should be a curfew for everyone on South Street until a concrete safety plan is ready. Some stores have been closing up early for a while.